Alright, good morning and very good morning and assalamualaikum to all of you. So, this is the first chapter in science. So, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. So, so for one key students, okay, mungkin this is not the first time you meet me because last week we having the uh, <coughs> class management with me. Okay, but for one A student, okay, so my name is Puan Rohaila Binti Muhammad Jabit. So, I will be your science teacher for this year. Okay, and my education background, so I have degree in science biology and also I have master in science uh, in science with ICT from University Malaya. Okay, so uh, in school, what, okay, I teach form five and form four biology and form one science. Okay, that is my uh, background uh, education and so about me. Okay, so chapter one, what you are going to learn in this chapter. So first, okay, of course, in this, chap in this chapter, you are going to be introduced to the science. Okay, so kita akan tahu apa itu science. Okay, this subject is not the new subject to you. You have learned before in law, uh, in uh, primary school. Masa dajah satu sehingga dajah enam, you dah belajar. So this is not new subject. But what you are going to learn is when you go to the secondary school, okay, you are going to learn a bit deeper, deeper, deeper and deeper. Okay, so you are going to learn more detail about the science. Okay, if in primary school, you just learn surface, very simple. Okay, and when you go to the, um, okay, secondary school, this subject will be a bit deeper year by year. So for form one, yes, it will be deeper a bit compared to standard six. All right, so what is science? Apa itu science? So, science is can explain natural phenomena that happen in our environment. So, contoh, sebagai contoh sekejap. Okay, since that I'm in school, so saya ada barang-barang nak tunjuk lah. So, look at this. Okay, tengok pokok ni. So, pokok ni dia wilt. Okay, this, okay, this plant. Okay, this, okay, uh, pokok ni dia wilt lah you. Kenapa? So, using the signs, you can explain why this plant will. Okay. So, what you need to do? Apa you nak kena buat kalau dia will? So, you akan taruh air. So, bila you dah taruh air, so pokok yang lain lah. So, you akan tengok pokok tu lebih uh, segar. Okay. Boleh. So, this is the phenomena, okay, the natural phenomena. So, science. Okay, science can explain the natural phenomena that happen in our environment. Itu ialah contoh pokok. Selain itu, sekarang ni semua orang duduk diam-diam. Okay, so semua orang tarik nafas. Lepas. Okay, once again tarik nafas. Tahan. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima. Okay, lepas. Okay, once again, tarik nafas. Tahan, stop. One, two, three, four, five. In exhale. Okay, last one. Inhale. Stop for five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Okay, exhale. All right, what are you doing just now? You are inhale one. You are inhale one. Oxy, oxygen. Okay, and then you are exhale carbon dioxide. So, just now is what phenomena? That is the inhalation and exhalation process. Science can explain that why you need to inhale these gases. Why these gases involved in the respiration process? Oxygen and carbon dioxide. So science can explain that. Can sejarah explain that? Adakah sejarah cerita tentang macam mana dulu orang bernafas dengan sekarang orang bernafas? Tak ada. Okay? Baik. Alright, next. For the second point, science is a systematic study of nature and how it affects us and our environment. Okay, for example, paling simple sekali. Katakanlah, okay, <coughs> katakanlah pokok tadi. Okay, so pokok tadi, you tengok satu pokok ni, dia dah will, dia dah layu. Okay, and then you need to do experiment how to 
okay, you are going to observe what are the materials that this plant need to become uh, fresh again. Does the plant need water or does the plant need fertilizer? So you put a systematic study. So you have these two kind of tree. So you are the dua pokok, both plant will. Dua dua pokok pun uh, apa will, layu. Okay, and then one, the A1 you use water. B1 you use fertilizer. So you are going to observe. So you observe for another next day. You are going to see, oh, for the plants that I use water, the plant still remain, dia jadi fresh, dia tegak. Pokok tu dia jadi sangat tegak. Okay, kalau pokok yang you guna fertilizer tu, dia jadi sangat rendah, dia jadi makin layu. So, you are doing systematic study. Okay, systematic study means that there is a step, other step. Step dia nanti kita akan belajar. Step, what are the step in doing systematic in science? Boleh? Okay, next. So, how? Okay, so how through careful? Yes, the other step. Through careful observation. So, you observe. Pokok tadi you observe. Pokok yang A, guna air. Pokok yang B, guna baja. So, you observe what happened. And then you study and investigate by scientists. Okay, so you are doing observation, you are doing experiment. So you ialah science student. Boleh? So these are the steps you need to do, you need to follow for do the systematic study in science. Okay, alright. So kalau subjek lain, tak ada eksperimen yang gunakan systematic study. Okay, boleh? Alright, so, <clears throat> okay, so now we go to the natural phenomena. Okay, nanti, later when you download the, uh, apa, the worksheet, okay, you need to list what are the natural phenomena, okay, what are the examples. So, nanti you write down. So, first, we have tornado, okay, tornado. So, tornado, this is, okay, Natural phenomena. Luckily, in Malaysia, we don't face this kind of natural phenomena. Okay. And then what else? Tsunami. Okay. So tsunami. Okay. We having uh ex we having effect. Okay. Kita pernah mengalami sedikit kesan daripada tsunami, which is occur. Uh, sorry, which is happened in two thousand. Berapa ya? Two thousand. Saya tak ingat lah. Tapi dah lama juga lah. Okay. Tsunami ni berlaku. Okay. And then next. Alright. Okay. Growth of baby into adult. So you all. Okay. You. Okay. Semua. Including me. So semua orang pun mula dengan baby. And then you. Year by year you will grow. So the growing process is the natural phenomena. Okay. And then next. Yes. The melting of ice. So let's say you go to your freezer at home, you take out one ice and then you just put the ice on the paper, or sorry, on the plate and then you just leave it on the room temperature. You will see the ice is melting. So ice melting is the natural phenomena. Okay, and the next. Okay, thunderstorm. Okay, so before we having very heavy rain, Okay, usually okay, kita akan dengar ataupun kita akan nampak thunderstorm. Right. <clears throat> okay, so that are the natural example for the natural phenomena. Okay, now we go to the important of science. So kenapa science ni penting? Why you need to learn science? Why I have to teach you science? Kenapa semua orang pun kena belajar science? Daripada... From the kindergarten sampailah secondary school, science you have to learn. Why? Okay, first, right? So science can contribute to the area of engineering such as, okay, construction of tall buildings. So let's say you want to become engineer in future. So the basic thing that you need to learn is science, right? 
And then invention of satellite has made communication more effective and faster. Okay, so nowadays, even though you are not in school, but I'm in school, we still can have in class. Why? Because we have a very effective communication. So who did this? Of course, behind of this thing, adanya science theory. Okay, and then next, increase crops yield by invention of fertilizer, pesticide, and hydroponic method. Okay, so nowadays, semua orang pun tak boleh nak keluar rumah, betul? Because of the MCO. So, you want to eat, uh, for example, you want to eat uh, onion, okay, you perlukan, okay, you want to cook nasi, uh, no, mi goreng. And then you nakkan, uh, apa nama tu, ba daun bawang. So, nak pergi kedai, nak beli daun bawang, tak boleh nak keluar ramai-ramai. So, what you, need can, what you need to do is you can plant the onion to get the leaf. Betul tak? So, you guna teknik apa? You duduk dekat apartment. You don't have soil. Tak ada tanah. Okay, but never mind. You can do hydroponic method. Boleh? Okay. And then next, discovery of vaccines and antibiotic for what? To control the infection disease. So this is what happened nowadays. We, okay, all the scientists nowadays, satu dunia, semua pun sibuk. Okay, all the scientists are very busy to discover the vaccine of COVID-19 disease. For what? To control the infection of this disease because we know that this COVID, okay, COVID-19 disease is very, very, <clears throat> okay, is very uh, easy to be spread. Okay, you batuk, there can, the virus can be uh, spread to others. You cakap pun boleh, touch pun boleh. So that's why all this need someone who really, really understands science to have a better life on our earth. Let's say nobody takes science. Nobody learn about science. Nobody don't know how to make vaccine. How we can survive? Kata kalau tak ada science. Can the, uh, okay, subhanallah, mangsa-mangsa patient for the COVID, can they survive? Cannot. So, all this, memanglah because semua ni memang dengan izin Tuhan, tapi you need to know we still need to use knowledge. What knowledge is behind of this? Science knowledge. Okay. So, bukan saja you perlu belajar science untuk pass exam. But you need to learn science because you need to be a better person in helping other person in future. Boleh? Right. So, next. <clears throat> okay. So, since that you have learned about the importance of science, so what are the career in science okay what you can be okay let's say teacher i have a degree in science but i don't know what i'm going to be okay that is a very big mistake okay if you are science student letter okay you supposedly have aim what you are going to be in future okay if you don't have aim now okay your life will be a bit difficult because you have no aim okay you don't know what to do Right, so please, okay, what are the carrier that can, uh, okay, what are the carrier in science, okay? Is it only become a science teacher? No. Okay, first, you can become a doctor. So for those who love, okay, for those who love human, okay, usually they will give good to the human. So saya sayang manusia because saya manusia, I love my family, I love my students, but I cannot be a doctor, but I can be a teacher and I still can give good to you. So same thing, doctor also can give, can give good to you. They can give you, they can offer you a very good way for your help. Okay, contoh, you sakit perut, you pergi jumpa siapa? Doktor kan? Okay, <clears throat> and then contohnya, demam, jumpa doktor. Okay, and then what else? Ada ke uh, operation doctor? So, doctor need science knowledge. Okay, very firm science knowledge. Alright, jangan kata, don't say that teacher 
we are in one, not one S class. It doesn't matter. I don't care about that. What are the class you are? I don't care. What is what the things that I care is if you have interest to become a doctor, you need to work hard. That's it. Itu saja. Semua orang adalah pandai dan semua orang adalah hebat. Okay, tak ada sesiapa pun yang tidak pandai. Kecuali orang tu terlupa untuk jadi pandai dengan memilih menjadi bodoh. Faham tak maksud saya? So, everybody is a smart. Semua orang clever. Okay, so if you want to become a doctor, you pegang kuat-kuat your ambition, you susun the strategy, okay, how you are going to become a doctor. Okay, okay, next. You don't want to become a doctor, but you love science. You want to, uh, you really want to know about this coronavirus, for example. So you can become a scientist. Okay, so you become a scientist. So you will work in the lab and then you will find the solution for the problem. So these are what the scientists do. Okay, so... For example, not only for the bacteria or the virus, scientists also, uh, scientists also do a lot of things. Okay, for example, um, ada banyak lah contoh nanti yang macam mana saya nak bagi untuk level form 1. Okay, for example, what are the good fertilizer needed by the plant to survive? Contoh. What are the nutrients that need by the human nowadays to against all this kind of disease? So who did all this? Scientists. Okay, next. Okay, this one, selalunya lelaki lah. Architect. Okay, so architect, you make a plan. Okay, you plan everything semua. How you are going to make one very, one tall uh, and also strong building. So that is what architect do, okay? And then next, all right, meteorologist, okay? Meteor meteorologist, which is you know about, you have expertise in uh, weather, okay? Contoh, this morning, the weather is very, very nice weather. No raining, okay? Not so windy. So this is one of the carrier in science okay and then geologists okay so geologists also is the carrier of science which is you can find the fossil okay you can find the artifact okay in the geologist carrier okay and science teacher yes okay science teacher also need to have very strong knowledge about science if i don't have strong knowledge about science how i'm going to deliver you science content subject understand okay so other than that all right <clears throat> okay there are still various fields in science okay which is science cover a very wide area of study and is divided into various fields such as biology physics chemistry geology astronomy meteorology okay for your level now you only have science Okay, which is in this subject combine biology, physics, and chemistry. Touch surface, surface. But when you go to the upper form letter, form 4, you are going to go to more detail for biology, chemistry, physics in detail. Okay, all right. So next. Okay, when, okay, now you have, you already know what are the career in science and also uh the importance of science so now what you can do is a science okay you need to know a science laboratory so science there may be other map map okay in our school also we have science lab okay so <clears throat> all right so when uh science lab is not a place for you to play okay i'm repeat here science lab is not a place for you to play you bukannya datang seronok-seronok daripada rumah nanti, datang sekolah, you pergi masuk sains makmal and then you pun main. Okay, you main apa? You main lari-lari dalam makmal, cannot, you cannot do that. Okay, so sains, 
Okay, science lab is not for you to play. That is not the place for you to play, but science lab is the place where the experiment been done. So, since that we know that this is the place, okay, the lab is the place where the science experiment to be done, surely this place have rules, okay? So, kita, okay, we, for the safety, okay, science lab, we have general rules and also safety precaution, okay? For what? Supaya you boleh bekerja, you can study in lab very, very safely. Okay, so safety, look at to this bag. So, Benny, they kata apa? Safety is part of science. Okay, so what are the do in the laboratory? What you can do and do? Okay, first, when you come to the school, of course, you bring your bag, school bag. So, first things, okay, like say, I asking you, okay, so by this period of time, you need go to the lab. So you come to the lab, bring your bag together, but you must put your bag outside the lab. Okay, so semua orang letakkan bag di luar. But please take out your science book into the lab with together your stationery. Janganlah letak bag, you masuk badan je. Okay. <clears throat> All right, next. Follow teacher instruction. So, please, once you already put, okay, like say, dalam sekarang saya dekat mama, okay? So, nak tunjuk kat you. Okay, nampak tak? Pintu tu. So, that door, okay? You put the, the bag outside and then you need to line up outside. So, selepas tu, I'm going to ask you, okay, after you done, Okay, put your bag outside. You may enter to the lab. So you enter to the lab one by one in line. Jangan pergi masuk macam nak serang shopping mall. Okay, so you enter to the door one by one. You masuk and then nak pergi mana? Okay, I'm going to show you. Right, so sekejap. Sekarang saya di Makmal Biology. Okay, Mama Biology dan Science tak sama. Tapi saya tunjuk lebih kurang sama lah. So, once you enter, okay, bila you dah masuk daripada pintu sana, you come and then you sit. Okay, you nampak? So, you datang, you terus berdiri. Berdiri dulu. Lepas tu nak buat apa? Put everything on the table. And then, ni, kerusi ni, this chair. Okay, this chair usually on the table. So what you need to do is, okay, you take this chair, you let out power, and then please, okay, I'm going to show you. You have to see How is it? Is it very quiet? Is it very peaceful? Or the is very noisy? Ha, macam ni. So please. Jangan letak kerusi kuat-kuat. Okay? You kena letak slowly and then you sit down. Okay? So, duduk, tunggu cikgu nak cakap apa. Jangan pusik. This thing, this plug, don't touch. Understand? Okay, next. Open door and windows to improve air circulation. Okay. So, I'm going to show you. Wait, okay. So, in lab, okay, in lab, right, so, di sana sini, kita dah ada pintar, okay, so this window, window and also door already open by the lab assistant, so, kalau uh, window ataupun door tu not open yet by the lab assistant, what you need, can, what you need to do is, okay, you help me, to open the door and also window. Okay, so next. Okay, boleh? Okay. So boleh eh, faham eh? You line up outside, take the chair here. Okay, take the chair, put down slowly and then sit. Okay, after the class, what you need to do? 
We put the chair back. Letak semula kerusi di atas meja slowly. Jangan letak bang macam tu. Okay, bisik. Satu pun dah bisik, kalau banyak-banyak dah bisik. So, put slowly. And then, say thank you to the teacher so you boleh keluar. In line. Okay? Okay. <coughs> Okay, so when we in the lab, okay, you are going to measure. Okay, for example, you akan gunakan uh, apparatus in the lab. Okay, so what you need to do, you can measure, you need to measure carefully. Okay, boleh? Okay, next. Wash hands after all laboratory works. So, please, okay, in lab, okay, in lab, there is a sink. So please wash hand and then tolong lap tangan bersih-bersih, tutup air, duduk. Buat lepas buat kerja tu, you duduk dekat uh, meja you. Okay, next. Report all the accident, breakage on uh, uh, and also spillage immediately to your teacher. Let's say, katakanlah you Main dengan kawan you. You are play around with your friend during the experiment. And what happened? Suddenly something broken. Okay, the test tube pecah. So what you need to do? Please, ha, memanglah saya marah sebab you mainkan dalam kelas. So first, once ada benda accident berlaku, contoh the test tube sudah pecah, okay, you can ingat telinga cikgu sains ni dia sangat alert. Pop, pecah. Saya tahu benda tu pecah. Ada yang pecah. So I'm waiting. Siapa yang pecahkan barang, tolong jangan, uh, don't be scared, don't be afraid. Mengaku kesalahan, come forward, datang jumpa saya and report. Okay, kenapa? Sebabnya, okay, kita kena pastikan everything, everybody in the lab are in uh, safe condition. Kita kena utamakan keselamatan. Kalau benda tu pecah, the glass is broken, so kita kena kemas supaya glass tu tak kena tangan you uh, dan tak ada yang berdarah. Okay, ataupun thermometer. Okay, please don't play with the thermometer. If you, bukan thermometer yang tembak-tembak tu. Okay, sekejap saya ambil thermometer. Okay, so the thermometer. Okay, nowadays semua pun pergi mana-mana ada thermometer kan? Okay, thermometer yang kita guna in the mall, okay, ialah digital thermometer. Okay, digital thermometer tu tak apa. It's not so dangerous. This one. Okay, this one. Okay, nampak? So, this is the thermometer which is inside this thermometer adanya mercury. So in this thermometer, okay, the mercury is is considered as a heavy metal. Okay, so heavy metal is okay, it can harm to our body if we expose to it. So please don't play with this thermometer. Pergi ketuk kawan you ke, pergi ketuk meja ke, don't do that. Okay, so kalau thermometer ni pecah, the mercury uh, keluar. What you need to do? I need to call the fireman. Saya terpaksa panggil bomber datang. So tolong jangan buat benda tu nanti bila buka sekolah. Boleh faham? Okay. Sekejap. Alright, next. Okay, so don'ts in the library. Uh, okay, tadi lah do and saya dah campur do and don'ts. Okay, so next. Do not enter the laboratory without teacher permission. Contoh, saya kata you come to the lab within this time of period. Tiba-tiba you rasa macam nak datang suka hati you saja. No, you cannot enter to the lab without my permission because I'm your science teacher. Okay, and then next. Alright, food and drinks not allowed in the lab. So please put your water bottle outside. If you feel thirsty during the class, raise up your hand. Teacher, I want to drink. 
So I will I will allow you to go outside for you to drink your water outside. Okay? Kenapa tak boleh bawa masuk? Katakanlah contoh. Okay? Saya ambil botol air. Contoh katakanlah this. You are doing experiment. We know that the table in the lab is quite small. So you accidentally tolak. Sudah jatuh air ni. You faham tak? So we try to avoid. Okay. Benda-benda uh, yang macam ni. Satu lagi. Okay. In the lab we know that we are using a toxic chemical. So if you drink, if you eat in the lab. Okay. So <coughs> kita takut we are afraid. You are exposed with the toxic chemical. Understand? Okay, next. Alright. This one. Do not play in the lab. Okay. This is what students love to do but I'm very, very scared. Okay. Kalau apa-apa terjadi, you kata saya tak beritahu. Tolong. Okay. You dah sudah secondary school. Okay. I don't care you form one ke, form berapa ke. But for me, once you enter to the lab, you cannot play in the lab and you must act like adult. Okay, teenagers yang ada fikiran yang sangat baik, dia tak akan bermain di tempat yang tidak sepatutnya bermain. Okay, so please don't run in the lab. Form one student, suka lari. Okay, lari sana, lari sini, saya tahu you have a lot of energy. But please, don't use your energy to run in my lab. But what you can do, you can run outside the lab. Kalau you nak lari sangat, ah, saya suruh you lari kat luar. Okay. And please, don't play with your friends. Pukul-pukul lah, cubit dia lah, kacau dia lah. Please. Lab is very dangerous place for you to play. Okay. Kita ada banyak barang-barang yang kaca. Kita ada banyak barang-barang yang... Uh, toxic chemical so cannot okay this is a not place for you to play okay so and please this is the things that you all selalu buat juga do not perform any experiment without teacher permission saya just letak contoh i just put every materials in the table on the table and then i'm still not giving any instruction You dah sendiri-sendiri buat. Please. Saya tak nak. Okay. You jangan sendiri-sendiri buat sebab kita tak nak tanggung any risiko kalau apa-apa terjadi. Okay. We go to the common laboratory apparatus. So what are the laboratory apparatus in the lab? Okay. What are the common? Okay. Yang biasa kita gunakan. Okay. First. Test tube. Okay, so this is the test tube. Okay, so how you are going to draw the test tube. So this is how you draw the test tube. Okay, so what is the name for this test tube? Apa function dia? Function dia ni untuk you letak coin. Okay, you put okay, small amount of liquid. Okay, these are the liquid. So, you put small amount of liquid here and then you run the experiment. Okay, next. Beaker. So, we have beaker here. So, this is the real beaker one. And then this is the symbol for the beaker. Okay, so for the beaker, usually you also put chemical ataupun uh, substance in liquid in the beaker. Okay. And the volume is much Uh, large compared to the test tube. Okay, next. This one. This is conical flask. Okay. So the symbol for conical flask is like this. Right. Okay. And the next. This one is measuring cylinder. Okay. So measuring cylinder. What is the difference between measuring cylinder and test tube? Banyak perbezaan dia. Okay, for the measuring cylinder, okay, they do not have, sorry, measuring cylinder, they have the <coughs> measurement here. Okay, that's why in the symbol for the measuring cylinder, okay, it has the measurement like this. Okay, next. 
glass jar. So this is the glass, sorry, gas jar. Okay, gas jar. So usually we'll put, okay, we will put uh, gas inside this jar. So there is a lid, tutup, penutup dia dekat atas ni. Okay, so this is the lid for the gas jar. So inside here contain the gases. Okay, next. This one is the filter panel. Okay, so this is the symbol for the filter panel. Okay, usually we will use filter paper together with the filter funnel. Okay, to separate the insoluble solid from a liquid. Okay, nanti kita akan buat eksperimen. Macam contohnya you buat air teh lah. Okay, you ada filter kan? Okay. Alright, next. Alright, this is the tripod stand. Okay, guys. Okay. So, this is the tripod stand. So, nampak? Kenapa dia nama dia tripod? Dia triangle. So, dia ada stand. Tiga kaki. So, this is tripod stand. Nampak? Dia boleh standing macam ni. Okay. And tripod stand selalunya dia akan datang dengan wire gauge. So, wire gauge ni letak kat mana? On top of it. Macam ni. Okay. Tripod stand will support, okay, this stand will be used to support the apparatus during heating. Okay, contohnya, okay, so during heating, kita guna this is the Bunsen burner. So, kita akan letak tripod stand and then we put the wire gauze on top, okay, untuk, and then kita letaklah beaker atas ni. Okay, it's a supporting apparatus during boleh faham? Next. Okay. Retort stand. Okay. Retort stand ni apa pula? Sekejap. Okay. Tengok sini. Ah, tak nampak lah pula. Okay. So, this is a retort stand. Boleh nampak? Dia besar. Okay. Tadi tripod stand tu kecil je. Okay. Nampak? Ini retort stand ni dia besar. Okay, saya tunjuk sampai atas ni. Okay, you see here? Atas ni. Okay, so retort stand ni is using for you to support apparatus during experiment. So, how you are going to draw retort stand? This is the symbol, okay, for you to draw the retort stand. You kena tahu macam mana nak lukis sebab nanti untuk experiment report, you have to draw some of it. Okay. Next. Okay, and then next we have pipette. Jump. Okay, pipette. So, pipette is, okay, this is the pipette. Okay, you look at, you look carefully the pipette here, dia bahagian atas ni kecil. Bahagian tengah ni dia besar sikit, bahagian bawah ni kecil. Sekejap saya tanya lah sister, ada tak? Okay, so, this pipette, okay, this pipette, kau pergi dalam kelas. Okay, this pipette is measure very accurately a specific volume of liquid. So, dia akan measure liquid yang sangat-sangat kecil dan juga sangat-sangat accurate. Okay, so this is pipette. Okay, next. Nanti saya akan tunjuk kalau adalah. Okay, next. Burek. Okay. Okay, pipette dia ada jenis, dua, dua jenis. So, this one also is a pipette. Kita guna yang ini. Okay, kita akan... Masukkan dekat sini. You nampak tak? So, you all boleh. Okay, you boleh laraskan dekat sini. Okay, so this one. So, this is pipette. Nampak tak? Dia punya dia bahagian tengah ni besar. Can you see? Right, this one. Pipette ni panjang eh. Nampak? Panjang ni. Okay, dia bukannya pendek. Dia panjang. Can you see? So, This pipette is to measure very, very, very accurate. So, can you see? Boleh nampak tak? Berapa ml kat sini? Okay, 25. Boleh nampak? Okay. So, this is one, one, uh, one example. So, satu lagi. This one pun pipette juga. Tapi yang jenis lain. Kita guna this one. So, we can scroll, 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 scroll macam tu. Boleh? So, Okay, apa nak function dia, you akan masukkan dalam beaker, you suck in the water, go out. And then you turunkan, dia akan turun bawah. Okay, next. Burek. Okay, tengok. 
This is burek. See how long? How long the burek? Panjang eh? Nampak ni? Panjang burek ni. So, burek ni dia bukan pendek macam tu. Dia panjang. Boleh nampak? Okay, so saya tunjuk ke depan sikit. So, as you can see. Okay, nampak tak? So, there is a pipe here. Burek tu ada pipe dekat sini. So, pipe ni you akan control. Okay, you are going to control. Okay, the water go outside through this pipe. So this is burek. This is pipet. Boleh faham? Clear? Tak clear juga tak tahulah kan. Beruntung ke orang tahu. <laughs> Aduh. Boleh. Alright, next. Okay, next. Test tube holder. So this. Nampak? Ini jangan pergi main. Letak dekat baju kawan you. Don't play like that. Okay, saya cubit nanti guna ni. Okay, so this is what? This is the test tube holder. Kat sebelah ni, temu meter, temu meter. Haa, ah, takut yang ni tak apa. Okay, so this is the test tube holder. Macam mana nak guna? So, you nampak it's like a... Okay, macam penyepit baju kat rumah kan? So, you nampak ni. This is the test tube. So, you hold. Masukkan dia dekat sini. Pegang. Macam ni. Understand? Boleh faham? Okay, so nak letak mana ni? Ha. Okay, you boleh letak dekat dalam test tube. Right. Okay, so we have two size of test tube. So this one and this one. Nampak tak perbezaan dia? So this one is quite small, this one is quite big. Boleh? So this is the test tube. Right. So the test tube tu, okay kejap saya tunjuk kat bawah sikit. Okay, this. We have test tube rack. So, kita ada test tube rack dekat sini. So, you jangan letak test tube tu sepah-sepah. Okay, macam tu you letak everything like that. Okay, jangan. So, use the test tube rack. Okay, for you to put the test tube. So, this small hole for the small test tube. Okay, this one. Is a quite big hole for the big test tube. Boleh nampak? Okay. So this is the test tube. Right. Hazard warning symbol ni. Okay, kita tengok. In the lab, okay. In the lab, we have toxic chemical. Okay. So, all the chemical, all the substance, okay, for the uh, harmful substance, harmful chemical, usually there is a symbol. Okay, so first, if you see this kind of symbol of skull, that is not the heavy, uh, that is not means, uh, apa, rock ke, apa ke, apa, uh, apa, pirate ke, no, that means poison. Okay, this symbol, kalau you nampak dekat, Bottle like this, this is poison. Means that in the bottle contain chemical which is poison. Don't take and do play. Please, jangan main dengan benda-benda ni. Don't do that. Okay, you cannot play with this all chemical. Okay, next. Flammable. Okay, kalau you nampak simbol api, so we know that that substance is flammable. Mudah terbakar. <coughs> Contoh, this is Bunsen burner. So, Bunsen burner, so you can see here. Nampak tak? So, Bunsen burner, there is a flammable symbol. So, means that, okay, means that it, uh, inside this uh, Bunsen burner, the material ataupun the substance inside here is very, very flammable. Easy to get burned. Boleh? Okay, next. Corrosive. Okay, so for the chemical being labeled with this symbol, so this is means that the chemical is very corrosive. It can corrodes the surface. For example, that liquid accidentally, okay, terkena tangan macam ni, so corrosive can happen. Usually acid, okay. 
Next. This symbol is symbol for explosive bomb. Faham? So, mudah terbakar. Mudah ter, bukan terbakar. Mudah meletup. Okay, bom. Okay. So, the symbol who level with this <coughs> don't easily touch that chemical or substance. Okay, it can easily explode. Ha, ke tengah-tengah buat eksperimen, pom, letup. I don't to you. Okay, next. For this symbol, X is referring that symbol is harmful. Symbol for harmful, so bermaksud barang-barang tu ada harmful substance. Okay, it can make your life harmful lah. Contohnya, Okay, for example, you are doing with chemical and then you play with the chemical which is have this symbol and then suddenly you having difficulty in breathing. Susah nak nafas. Because you inhale that chemical which is harmful to you. Understand? Okay, and then this one, okay, in our school selalunya tak ada. Tapi in future, kalau you nampak, this is a radioactive Symbol. Boleh? So, all these symbols saya dah discuss. Boleh? So, you also can refer the textbook page 10. Boleh faham? Okay. So, untuk hari ni saya punya penerangan sampai 1.1, 1.2 sahaja. Okay, baik. So, the Bunsen burner here. Ni, nampak? This is Bunsen burner. Okay, apa you nak buat? You kena light upkan dia. Sendiri. Bukan minta tolong cikgu. Sampai bila you nak minta tolong cikgu? You are science student. So, tengok. Number one, you look at to the flame. Number one, flame. Number two, number three and number four. Which one is the correct way? Ataupun which one is the correct flame? Satu, dua, tiga, keempat. Oh. Yes, number four is the correct flame yang you kena dapatkan. Bukan number one. Okay, so how to... Okay, kenapa? Okay, you tengok. <coughs> right? Okay, so for this one, if you if you get yellow color flame, okay, this yellow color flame is a luminous flame. Blue color is non-luminous flame. Okay. Why you get this color yellow flame? Because the air hole is closed. So, dekat mana air hole? Okay, tengok. Sekejap. Okay, nampak tak ni lubang? So, you tertutup. Okay, ada satu structure. Sekejap. Okay, you tengok sini. Okay, kita ada dua. Okay, I have two. Okay, you tengok. This one. You tengok, dia punya lubang, air hole dia tertutup. Nampak? Okay, okay this one. Nampak tak dia tertutup? So, bila tertutup, okay, you akan keluarkan api warna kuning. Okay, so apa yang patut you buat? Okay, so you kena pusingkan. You have, okay, nampak tak ni tertutup? Okay, mana? Okay, nampak? tertutup. So what you need to do, you have to adjust. Sekejap. Sekejap ya. Okay. So ni tertutup. Kalau you bakar, okay, you you light up the flame and then you get the yellow color flame. So don't panic. What you need to do is you adjust this. Adjust sampai dia terbuka. Okay, macam ni. Ha, okay, macam ni. Nampak? Tadi tertutup. Then you adjust it terbuka. Tertutup, terbuka. Boleh? So, kalau air hole open, okay, then you will get blue color flame. So, the yellow color flame, okay, the yellow color flame is very easy to see. You nampak besar, sayang. Tak tahu, tapi tak ada apa. Okay, dia you akan nampak sangat besar. Okay, kalau green, uh, sorry, blue dia kecil je. Dia kecil macam ni je. So, is sometimes you macam, eh ada api ke tak ada api ni? Okay, and then yellow color flame is a lot of soot. 
dia akan keluar asap warna hitam. Okay. Kalau ni, kalau blue color, not give suit. Like say, you are heating the test tube using the yellow flame. This okay area of the test tube will become black in color because of the suit. Okay, sebab tu kita tak nak warna kuning. Kita nak api warna biru. Okay, and then um, even though, right, the flame is very big but it's not too hot. Okay, compared to the blue color and yellow color is not suitable for heating. Blue color is suitable for heating. Kalau you tak percaya, you tengok dekat dapur ibu you, you go to the kitchen after this. You tengok, you buka kitchen tu, you tengok api tu warna apa? Kalau warna kuning, ah, tak bagus lah. Kalau warna biru, bagus. Faham? Okay, next. How to line up a Bunsen burner? So first, tengok dulu dia punya air hole. You close the air hole first. Selepas tu, You take the match stick. Saya buat satu demo dekat sini. Ha, beruntungnya lah hari ni sekolah. Okay. So, nampak? So, first step. Okay. So, first step, you nampak? Uh, okay, the air hole ni. <coughs> kita. Okay, kita tutup dulu. Uh, tapi ni tak boleh tutup lah pula. Okay, sepatutnya kita tutup lah. Oh, okay. dia punya yang tu dah tak ada. Tak apa. Okay, you, even though yang terbuka ni pun tak apa. And then, you letak dekat sini. Make sure surrounding here. Okay, dekat kawasan tepi ni tak ada kertas. Tak ada yang bahaya yang mudah terbakar. So, lepas tu, you buat apa? Okay, you are using this. Okay, ini kita guna untuk... Uh, Nyalakan api. Okay, and then. Okay, so you pusingkan. You letak dekat atas ni. Okay. Atas ni. Saya lama tak tak mahu tak guna. Okay, so you switch, uh, you besarkan sikit. Alright, so saya dah nyalakan api. You nampak tak api dia? Can you see the fire? Warna biru. You nampak tak? Okay, memang susah nak nampak kan because the blue color. Okay, the blue color of fire is difficult to see. But there is a fire. Ada api kat situ. Nampak? Warna biru. Okay, kalau tak macam ni. Putih, hitam. Can you see the difference? Okay, so dah habis tu, dah habis buat eksperimen, so you tutup. Okay, nampak ini besar. You boleh kecilkan dia. Okay, tak payah buat besar-besar, kecil cukup. And then you tutup balik api tu. Boleh? So dah tak ada api dah. Boleh? Tak pergi sekolah pun dah buat eksperimen. Boleh? Okay, so this is the correct way. For you to uh, light a Bunsen burner. Do. Okay, for today class, only three page. Okay, three pages. This one, 1.1. Okay, 1.1 introduction to science. And then 1.2 science laboratory. Itu, uh, sorry, sampai sini. Okay, hari ini sampai sini sahaja. Yang dekat bawah ni, kita akan bincang next class.